guys. So, we are going to discuss a few things about Kirby's tonight. Well, it's, I know it's just a random video, so bear with me, guys. Um, first, we want to talk about the adjustment of the brush roll itself. If your brush roll is set to the lowest setting, which would be number one on the uh, brush roll, I've got a brush rolling here on the ground, which I can show you guys. Alright, so. So that's going to be its lowest setting, which would be number one. As you can see, both sides are on the lowest setting. You do not want to run it on its lowest setting, and that is because uh, you can actually burn your belt in half. It will snap the belt. So I typically, what I typically do with my Kirby's, I always run it, run them on notch 2 on the brush roll. See, on both sides are on notch 2. Which is what I got my Sentria set at on the brush. I have it set to run on notch 2. And that is to prevent more wear and tear on the belt than necessary. So basically when you run it a little bit higher up, it does tend to save your belt a little bit longer. So your vacuum belts will last just a little bit longer than if you were to have it set on number one on the brush roll. <clears throat> Secondly, the next thing people need to also pay attention to on this is how to adjust your the height of the machine. Well, there is a uh, toe touch control pedal located right here on the side. There, right there on the left side of the machine there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and what that does, that lowers the front of the machine little by little. Lower it a notch at a time until you hear a change in the motor. If you get it down too low, raise it up a notch at a time until you know, you're ready to go. So we will actually demonstrate that right now. And that's what we're going to do today. We're using the Centria, and it works both ways, even with the older G's right here, even that Heritage too. So, see, both of my brushes, all my brushes are actually set on notch two on every single one of these, except for my Heritage too. I don't mess with that one. Um, so, first thing what you want to do when adjusting your machine, the front of it, you don't want to do it with the machine off. Okay? So we will start the sentry up right now. Bag is inflated.
Now we're going to talk about the vacuum bags. Um, people have been asking questions, how much can a vacuum bag hold? Well, max is about 15 pounds of dirt and dust, which theoretically would be about halfway up. Okay. Which would be about halfway up the bag. See, this has already got a little bit of dirt in it already. So, it would have to be about, I'd say right about there, halfway, theoretically speaking. And typically, what some Kirby's do, and I've noticed this, every Kirby that we've had, if you go past that uh, dirt line on the older G-Bags, then the uh, performance will reduce. You won't have as much suction power. And this is what I, I have experienced. And everybody has had different experiences. Um, we went past halfway point one time. Just barely though. Um, <coughs> and lost a little bit of suction power. That's because the bag got a little bit too full. See, the Centria runs best with these HEPA bags. Which you see right here. So, and I intend to keep it like that. This one runs with the HEPA bag. So, the Centrias run best with the HEPA bags. And I run paper bags in the older Kirby's. And I intend to keep it that way. So, I could switch it out. So they all have the same bags. But, I cannot do that to the Heritage 2. I could with these by getting century of cloth bags for all three of them and I could have the HEPA filtration bag and all of those three over there so <clears throat> I really hope this uh, helps you out and also when you guys do shampoo carpets never shampoo and dry always use the machine in neutral when you shampoo the carpet so when you shampoo in neutral the machine actually is able to clean the carpet the way it needs to so that way you hear that uh, pitch change when you do pull back on the machine with the shampooer system on. So that could be a helpful tip with, for you guys as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, good comment down below. Also subscribe to this channel. Turn on my post, post bell notification icon so you guys don't miss out on any helpful tips on Kirby's uh, claw machine videos. Cold start videos and all that happy jazz, even piano videos. With that being said, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you all next time. And again, leave a good comment down below. Negative comments will be removed. Just to give you a heads up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.